guys, it's Petunia Gal, and we are back over in Planet Zoo, and uh, yeah, we're gonna get into it and see what fun we can have today. I know this habitat still needs a little bit of work, especially on the outside here, but I am super uh, pleased with the way it turned out, and uh, hopefully you guys like it as well. But today we are going to turn around and uh, do something with this area. So what we're going to do is a uh, white rhino habitat, and that will um, get the uh, the North African pack done. And uh, yeah, so we're going to put them right here in this big area. And what I'm thinking is doing two sections where we have one for a male and one for a female and, you know, possibly a, a, a baby also. Because that's what, you know, that's how it is in uh, real zoos where you have, um, you, you don't have both male and female together. They're pretty much solitary animals. So we're going to do that. Um, what I'm probably going to do is cut and work on just kind of a layout uh, so you guys don't have to watch me try to figure that out on camera. And then, yeah, we'll get to it. So hopefully this will be a good one and you will enjoy if you do. Definitely hit that thumbs up and let me know that you are liking these videos. And yeah, let's get to it. So this is what we did in a live stream on Friday. So I wanted to include some of the stuff that we did. If you want to watch the full live stream, I will put that card up in the top right. And uh, yeah, so we started with getting a little bit of a, I think you'd call it a trench. I think that's what they call it. I don't remember, but we put that in with the terrain shape tool, and then I just used the smoothing uh, tool to smooth it all out and make it look a little bit more, um, you know, that I don't like the little edges, especially along paths that come up, the really rough edges, so I wanted to smooth all of that. And so I start off with this little um, size here, and I thought, it may be a little too small, so I do go ahead and uh, change the size because I bring the rhino in and look at the size requirement. And I'm like, yeah, I think we may need to make it a little bigger. But I tried to do some of the terrain painting here. I do that more in the real time, um, so if you guys want to check that out. But uh, here I just go ahead and move the barrier out. And I still move it more, so I don't know how much I actually include in here, but uh, I do a lot of moving the barrier and, and making it um, a little bit more exciting. I add a little bit more of a terrain height here just to see if we can maybe um, make it a little bit more interesting to look at. I don't, in the end, I don't think it makes too much difference, but I just wanted something there that was a little bit different. So I think it looks okay in the end, but I go ahead and finish off the um, barrier here and then we go to look at what I want to use for the rocks around the habitat. So I went ahead and went with the desert rock. I thought it kind of went with the, um, the ground and uh, I kind of like it. I think it's kind of cool. So i show you a bit of it, um, and I had the random rotation on, I think, so <laughs> that makes it a little bit more uh, difficult, so I went ahead and turned that off. Uh, the only way I know you can turn it on and off is if you actually go to pick up and copy an item. Uh, let me know if there's another way to do that, because that would be super awesome. But I wanted to add something else in, into this wall, so I went ahead and added these kind of, I want to call them rock columns, but... Um, then I go ahead and just make that a group and copy it all the way around. So I only show you a bit of it here and uh, a little bit more uh, in the corners. So you can just go and you know copy a whole wall and then you can make certain changes to bits of it just to make it look a little less uh, similar. And so I wanted to make these corners a little bit less square so I did add a little bit of a rounded corner. I don't know if this is rounded, but the other one is pretty rounded actually. So I was trying to figure out how to make it look 
similar with the little columns and everything. And uh, I do a lot of like moving things around that I keep out of the uh, video. But if you want to check out the live stream, like I said, I will have a uh, card up at the top right. And it's in this playlist. So if you want to check it out, go do that. It would be super awesome. And um, so I went ahead. Here's more barrier fixing here. But um, I like to say I'm not super picky of the null barriers just because they are null barriers so you don't see them but uh i do want them to be somewhat closer to the habitat <laughs> so here i decided to do a viewing area so i wanted to make this kind of go in a little bit into the habitat and i probably could have done it more but i think this one is okay i like it and uh, this path took me way too long i just cut out most of it and out of the part where i actually got it right so um, then we add the uh, staff path over there. And as you can see, I took out some of the big square rocks and I'm going to look at adding the glass to them because I want obviously the guests to be able to see into the habitat. I mean, that's kind of a needed thing, you know, if you're gonna make a viewing area, right? So I went ahead and I looked at these, but they're way too curved. If I was just using one, it would work, but um, I end up using three. So I use this pattern glass. I really like the pattern on here. Um, I really wish was, this was a non-gridded piece. That'd be super awesome, but uh, it's not. So the only thing I don't like about this is the um, border around the glass. So I do try to hide that with these rocks and... Um, I also hide the top and bottom later on, but I'm trying to get these rocks to, because one side is a little bit, is more curved than the other side, so I try to get it as close as I can to uh, look like there's no border around there like that, but I think you can still see it in some spots, but I think it works out pretty good. So I try to kind of fit everything in here and uh, just move it over a little bit. And uh, I think, I really like the outside of this. I may add more stuff to it, but uh, I really like the way it came out. So I started trying to find I th just a small piece to get over the glass here uh, to cover the top of the border. Um, and then I realized I'll just go ahead and make a sheltered viewing area. So that's what I did. So I just copied a lot of these rocks over and I ended up just using this rock to um, be kind of a support. I don't know if it works too well for support because I mean, it's, you know, it's not supporting too many places, just the, the uh, front here, but I think it works out. So I cut out a lot of the, you know, moving rocks around and everything. And I decided to use these as the bottom uh, little covering so that um, they would fit here. But I think it works out. I think it works out. So I think that is um, coming to an end of the live stream part of this. So we will get back into the real time. But here I also added the fence area from the Fennec Foxes, hoping that it would kind of match a little bit. Let me know what you think. And yeah, let's get back to the real time. One thing I did definitely want to do is I forgot to add a bit of um, water in here. So I know for rhinos, they like to, or at least I say I know, I'm pretty sure, they like to just kind of have um, shallow water that they can kind of just wallow in and just get get cooled off you know on the hot days and um you know stuff like that so i'm just gonna make a little bit of an area here uh like i said i don't want it to be too crazy low because i don't think that would be very realistic to what they would have i don't know and as far as I know, rhino habitats are pretty bare as far as it as far as like trees and stuff like that. 
So I do want to have just a little bit of water there. And I also did want to add a few more animals other than just the rhinos. So we'll see how that goes. Let me go to animal trading. Actually, let's see. We'll look in our storage. Okay, so we've got one male in here. Sent to zoo. Okay, cool. And then also, if we go here and go to animals, we will go all the way down and get this girl here. And let's move her to the habitat. All right, let's go ahead and play. <clears throat> and I may have to play a little bit more since the shadow is going to be coming over here. All right. So let's see what we got here. So I'm going to look at, let's go to H and we'll go to shelter, uh, traversable area. So everything's good there. And at least the rhino should not be able to get out. Okay. Should not be able to get out there. But if, like I said, if we do add some more animals, we will have to check on that as well. So let's see. Habitat, uh, terrain. Well, we knew terrain wasn't going to work, right? And then hard shelter. I'm not going to do a high intensity, but we will do a size up a little bit. I'm going to do, I think I'm going to do all of this grass for now. It looks a little weird. Maybe I should up the intensity a little bit. Just to kind of get all of this covered. Again, it doesn't quite fit in with uh, the desert theme we were going for. Um, you know, it, it's okay. It'll be fine, right? I could probably do rock here, but we'll do soil. I don't think soil will be there, right? And then let's bring the intensity down a little bit. And I want to make kind of pathways for these guys. So, since this is the entrance, I'll go ahead and make this kind of worn out here. And then probably go towards the water and have a little bit of an area here. I know I made all this long grass, so I don't want to do too much there. But And then maybe around here we'll have a little shelter area, so we'll make that a little bit... Uh, covered in soil. Um, southern white rhino. There we go. All right. So I want to get them. I guess we could do a pre built uh, thing. I don't know. You guys know me. I, I probably would stick with pre built if I could. Uh, we'll put a food tray there. And I kind of like this. The gyro enrichment? Gyro enrichment? I don't know. Um, so the, we have a viewing area here, so I kind of want to add stuff over here, too. Just so, you know, people can see that. And a watermelon. Put a watermelon right there. You're standing on the food trough. That's a little weird. Uh, since we have this water here, I don't think I'm going to worry about um, adding a water pipe. Uh, let's go ahead. I'm going to let it just play regular speed now. All right, because I think we're good on that. Let's check here. Oh, yay. They're pooping. That's great. I always have to do that while you're looking, right? So we're good on that. Super cool. A uh, hard shelter, obviously, they want that. So I was thinking about putting the shelter kind of here in the corner. Oh, look. <laughs> oh, he was playing with it, and I was like, nah, I'm good. I, <laughs> I played with it, I'm good. <laughs> that was kind of funny. But look at these awesome animals. Aren't they so cool? I love it. Oh, drinking the water. See, this is, I made it not clean looking, so I don't know if it makes sense for them to 
eat to drink out of it, but I would rather I would rather have that than have to have the water pipe. You know what I mean? The water pipe just seems a bit I don't know. Too much. So, let's go back. Um, I mean, I could use rock, but we have a lot of rock around here, so I'm not sure I want to do that. But, let's see. If we do... What if we do, like, a mud pillar? Um, it seems like I've built a lot with mud pillars. Let's see. If we do something like that. And I'm not going to have it connected to that. I'm not going to have it connected to the um, the barrier. I think that would be a little bit too much. Um, like I said, I, I, I keep thinking about doing something with rock. But I just feel like I've done that way too much. So I want to do something else. Look, they're playing with it again. <laughs> and maybe, well, I don't know. Maybe we could do this. And I don't want it in a group. Oh, that's so annoying. Okay. Let's hit X. And bring it up. Let's see if we can do this. I probably should have built this on the grid. And then moved it. That may have been a little bit better of an idea. So, if we do this. And have it just right above there. So we may have to just move the pillars and leave this on a grid. I don't know. That's just going to look weird. Unless. Do we have like. Take that off. Let's see. That is not it. <laughs> Definitely not it. Why does that not. Like. To that. Uh, I don't know. There we go. Maybe. Like that. It still looks off. I don't know why. What if we... No, we can't. Okay. Let's do this. Exit the group for a second. Let's go ahead and hit X. Just to have something on these edges, because this edge looks too... Weird, I think. That group, though. They really like that thing. <laughs> I love it. Um, so what if we just have it on the edge? Let's do this. Let's go ahead and... Uh, actually, no. I'll hit I. And we will select these. Oh. Okay. And I'm just going to have it go all the way. It's funny seeing them play with that. They really like it. Super cool. All right. And then what if we do this? And we'll just do control D. Okay. Something like that. And then we'll just do control X. <clears throat> I don't know. I don't know if this is going to look any good. <laughs> but we'll see. So if we move this over here, and uh, make sure angle snap is on with the space bar. Nope. And something like that. And I'm just going to take some of this, and we will... What's he doing over there? Seriously. It's being weird. All right, let's make all of that bedding in there. What are you doing? Hello? Are you okay? How's everything? You, you look a little um, confused. Yeah? <laughs> so, he's like, yeah. Wait, nutrition? Last drink. Oh, uh, we don't have the water thing, do we? Okay, I was thinking that was dirty just because I made it look that way, but I guess not. 
do, let's see if we can put something over here or if it's going to be, uh, if the guests are not going to like it. I will go to this uh, water treatment. Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. Nope, that's not either. <laughs> I think this is going to be too close to the guests, though. They're not going to, they're not going to like this. I don't think. Let's see. Where is the, oh, there we go. Okay. We can see if this will work. Um, maybe just add some trees. So. I want to see if we can put some nature in here. So let's see. Africa, grassland. So let's do that. And uh, grassland. Yes, please. Oh, and Africa. There we go. All right. I uh, definitely want to put some of these around here. I always like putting these plants around the, the water. Look, the water's so clean now. It kind of looks a little unnaturally clean. We may have to fix that a little bit. Just put these. I like to put these in kind of clumps here. It looks a little bit better, I think. They don't like those? Oh, no, they don't like this this over here. That makes sense. We'll We'll change that out with something else. We don't necessarily need that. Go ahead and delete that. And we may just add this. So go ahead and just control X and do that to have that kind of connect. I think that'll be okay. I thought about putting one of these there, but then it would kind of throw off the, um, the kind of counter, I, I don't know how you'd say that. The repetitive thing going here, because I did two, two of these rocks for every one of the uh, pillars. So I don't know. We'll keep it there for now. I kind of like having a thing there to connect the fence, but we'll see. And then I want to select this water because this is way too clean. Let's uh, exit the group. Okay, yeah, cleanliness is, yeah, way too clean. Uh, I don't, I don't need it to be see through. I don't think we'll we'll have it like that. And how about use? No, I don't. Huh? Use natural color. We don't need to see through it, I don't think, right? We'll do this. I'm going to make it like... Well, that's kind of perfect, actually. It's a little bit... I mean, it's rhinos, so they're going to be pretty messy here, right? I would think. Of course, like I said, it doesn't quite make sense that they're drinking out of this. But I think it makes more sense that way. I don't know. We'll see. So let's go in here and add a little bit of uh, vegetation. Seriously? Did I? No, it's Africa grassland. So I feel like if you have the what they want, you know, they want Africa grassland. So you put Africa grassland. I feel like that should be enough for them to like the things you put in here, right? It seems to me like that should be the case. But that's just me. I could be totally wrong. Go ahead and do this. I really like these water things here. So... Uh, we'll put like a little tree right there. 
Okay, so let's uh, control D on that, and we may go ahead and, oh no, stop it. <laughs> go ahead and hit X. I was going to say, we may have some come up a little bit more. I don't know. We'll see. But I wanted to make it look like kind of a full bush here. So I think that looks good, right? And then, let's see. What are we missing? It seems like we're missing something. We could put some nature around here. Like something short. Uh, I don't think, I don't know. Do we want to do flowers? Just something around here to make it kind of divide it up. Mm, something like this, maybe. Okay, I'm going to have to turn off the uh, align to surface, maybe. But let's just turn off the random rotation for a second. And just have these kind of lining this area. The shadows on the ground and all of that are making it a little bit, a little bit weird to see what's actually going on here, right? Go ahead and move it in a little bit from there. Let's turn off the align to surface. So hit V, not that, hit V. So it won't align to whatever you're moving over. And have to zoom in a little bit. Did that work? I think so. Okay, so if we just hit shift, we can have that kind of, kind of, um, blend in there, I think, a little bit. And we can also hit Z to kind of rotate them around a little bit, just to make it look a little random here. Obviously not a ton, because we're still, we still have a little bit of a pattern going right which I don't mind I kind of like the little pattern oh I forgot my drin grass <laughs> definitely got to put drin grass in uh let's turn on the random rotation all right because we definitely have to get this grass in I think that really helps um Kind of blend things in together something like that looks good and then we'll also add some rocks because you guys know me i like my rocks i think it adds a lot to it to add rocks too um yeah that's fine africa grassland that's good so i was thinking about maybe a bigger rock where are the big rocks not that Something like this. Uh, I'm going to turn back on a line to surface for this. Just to make it look like we kind of are stacking up some rocks here. I mean, obviously they probably would not be able to climb on this, but I think it looks cool. Let's add a little bit of a... Uh, rocky formations here and there it's up here here's a big one uh I'll put this one over here obviously we don't need it that that much out of the ground but just add a little bit here and there I think that looks nice. I feel like we still need some, like, nature here. And I'm thinking it probably would look a little bit more believable. Well, I don't know if we should add this, though. So it might add, like, ways for them to get out. So maybe we just add these to the bottom. 
just add some random rocks here. Because obviously I don't want them to get, have places to get out, but I want it to look, you know, kind of uneven and rocky down here. The Zoopedia. And do they have animal enrich? Okay, yeah. So they are good with a lot of different animals. So I'm thinking maybe the sable antelope and zebra, maybe? Let's see. Uh, I want to do habitat. <clears throat> and let's do... Africa. I've never tried this before, so I want to try it and see. And then, oh, not conservation. Grassland. So, zebra. Market. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Oh, uh, go ahead. Oh, that's a white one. I guess that's fine, but let's go ahead and get this one and we'll get the white one. Why not? And is there not any males at all? We'll have to come back and get some males. Okay. Um, so I can't. I guess I can't go back. That's kind of weird. But that's okay. I'll go to Zoopedia for that one. Uh, oh, man. I wish I would keep the thing here. So, let's do... We did zebra. So, why don't we try the sable antelope? Cool. We can just click on it and go to market. That is so awesome. I love it. Uh, we'll go ahead and get this one. And, oh, there's a male. That one. Okay. <clears throat> so what we'll do is go to our storage. Click on, wait a minute. Oh, okay. That one, that one, that one. Okay. Why isn't it working? That one. Then to zoo. Let's go put them in here. I always put them in quarantine first. I may regret this, but we'll go ahead and add them in here. And then I think that is where we're going to end for today. But I'm going to have all these guys come in here and see how it goes. And then next time, I may try to finish this like fence area here between episodes. But next time... We will finish off this habitat, and uh, then we will see how it goes. Look at the look at all the animals, so cool. What else should we add here, guys? Should should we add other animals or keep it at this? Let me know. Let me know what you guys think. So let's see how these guys get along here. I really like um, the mixed habitats. I really think that's cool. We'll go ahead. And just look at these guys go. Super cool. So we'll add the outer, you know, guest area going on and uh, see how we get next time. But yeah, I really, I really think this is coming along good. I, I am going to change the shelter though. That shelter is, um, yeah, definitely in need of, of some help. <laughs> But I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. If you have, definitely hit that thumbs up. Also, if you are new to my channel or haven't already, go and hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the bell to get notified of videos as they come out. And if you want to play this game or check out any of my social media or Patreon links, they're all down below in the description. Check those out and come over and have some fun over there. And if you have any questions, comments, tips, anything like that, leave those down below in the comment section. Love seeing those, and we'll get back with you as soon as I can. Until next time, I want to say thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a super blessed night or day wherever you are. 
and I will see you next time. Bye, guys.